So, the gymnast and seven-time Olympic medalist Simon Bowes and NFL safety Jonathan Owens said I do's to each other on May the 6th of 2023 and your this destination wedding was a blast. You can call it a 12 over 10. <laughs> It's wedding season, baby, and you know your girl is so happy because I love them weddings, especially celebrity weddings. Queens will come back to the channel to get royalty back with another celebrity wedding, y'all. You know I bring in all the juice and details from your faves' wedding. So even though we did not get an invite to be there in person, we still have an opportunity to relieve the moment. So here is your front row seat to Simon Bowes and Jonathan Owens' wedding. Disclaimer, I might be inserting a little bit of my avatar on the video just to avoid some of these policy issues so I don't do all this work and put the video down. So thank you for your understanding. Okay, so now that all that is said and done, let's get into this wedding. So. Prior to this destination wedding in Cabo, Simon Biles and Jonathan Owen officially said I do last month in a civil ceremony at Harris County Courthouse in Houston, Texas, while preparing for their Cabo wedding on May the 6th. As simple and as quickly as that courthouse wedding was, it was elegant and it was beautiful. I have a video on the channel already so you can check that out. But before we head over to Cabo, it's time for some dress fitting. Simone already told us that she will be having four dresses for her big day in Cabo. And I was so excited to see those dresses. And her official wedding dress was by Galea Le Havre in New York. Let's go into the dress fitting. there's something else I wanted at my wedding, it's flowers and pearls. And I was nervous about having a ball gown because I'm so petite, but it works perfect. <laughs> you guys will see. Okay, let's go. And I get to try on my official wedding dress. Damn. Simone may not be all over her faces on the internet, but she does have a cheeky, elegant girl style. And her smiles are so real, and you can tell she is one happy bride. Get my legs slit, guys. <laughs> The leg slit was very crucial. It was to add, in my head, more length to my body. So I think this is exactly how brides are supposed to feel. Luxurious, beautiful, kind of on top of the world. I found my dress in the DMs. I found my future husband in the DMs. Jesus. Wait, stop. She found her dress in the DM and she found her man in the DM? Okay, so let's get into this story, y'all. Simone and Jonathan first met on a dating app prior in 2020. You know, the whole world was in a lockdown. Everybody was kind of, you know, maybe lonely, idle, and you know what they say about the idle man. <laughs> But this one was not a devil's workshop. This one was doing the Lord's work because Simon slid into Jonathan's DM. And boy, I tell you, it did pay off. The relationship became more serious when Simon's sister invited Jonathan to join them on a family trip to their lake house in Texas. And eventually, he proposed two years later on Valentine's Day during golden hour at Brenner's Steak House on the Bayou in Houston. Wow, isn't that beautiful? So it's time to head over to Cabo for the wedding. Of course, you know, anyone who has a destination wedding has to be prepared for party after party. Yeah, if you're having destination wedding, and you're having people traveling all over to your destination for your wedding, you have to keep them entertained. Simone and Jonathan did not fall short. 
of getting to Kabul, they had their first party, entertaining their family and friends and guests, and it was just class act, beautiful. Everyone seemed really excited and happy, and you can just see the pure joy exuding from their laughter, especially Simone's bright, white, smiling, shining teeth laughter, whatever that is. Huh? <laughs> I think they were very lucky to get a lot of people come over for their wedding. In fact, Simone said she doesn't just feel lucky, she feels blessed because they had 144 guests for their wedding. That is amazing. Okay, it's wedding morning and everyone is getting ready. I can't believe today is the day. It feels surreal. As a matter of fact, I love her suit. Her bridesmaid suit is gorgeous and girly. Everything looked beautiful. The balloons, the number 36, and the number 36 representing Jonathan Owen's number. Oh, that is so beautiful. And everyone is getting ready. The bridesmaid has on their pajamas. And Simone wore her white Nadine Morabi pajamas with feather accent to get ready. Yo, that feather gave that pajamas a lift. I like that she wasn't doing the usual robe, but wore a pajamas with a cheeky style because girl, that feather definitely gave that pajamas a lift. I love it. For her jewelry, it was simple and classic by Ashley Stewart Beauty, and her hair was by Jasmine Johnston. I know during the courthouse, there were some people who were trolling her for her courthouse wedding hairstyle. They trolled her that the edges were not properly laid, and boy, why would anybody troll someone on their wedding day? But then Simone replied was that it was a hot day. If you've ever been to Houston, you know Houston is hot. It was a hot day and she was sweating a lot and so the edges came off, you know, considering the texture of her hair too. But I didn't even think she needed to respond to those truths, but people will be people. And so they started to get ready by also feeding their belly because it's going to be a long day. Her bridesmaids, they were all looking beautiful, wearing their champagne colored dresses. Jonathan, on the other hand, is getting himself a clean haircut, sliced and clean. I think his stylist did great as well. And by the way, his suit was from Adam Ross, the suit boss. He looked smart and his groomsmen wearing that teal suit also looked gorgeous. I think their color blended well with the bridesmaid dresses. And by the way, the bridal party was not matching in number. Simone spoke about that already because the men were seven and the girls were eight. But anywho, the photographer made sure to do justice because that was one of Simone's concern or worry. But stand low photography, shout out to you. Okay, this is like a free advert to you, bro, now. <laughs> But he is good. He also did a photography for Portia Williams and Simon Gubadia. I think the guy is good and we need to hats off to a brother when we see one. Okay. <laughs>
The actual wedding ceremony kicked off at 5 p.m. at the Omi Terrace of the Nobu Lost Caboose. Simone said, I actually felt so sick the entire day, and when it was almost time to walk, my heart was beating out of my chest, Simone reveals. I've never been so nervous before in my life, but I felt confident walking down the aisle. Seeing Jonathan at the altar was a dream. And guys, not him with the tears. Oh my god. Whenever a groom has to share a tear for his bride, that gets me all the time. I mean, I literally almost cried, but I did not. But I almost cried when I saw him crying. It was so beautiful. It was so endearing and so sweet. Hey, Simone. So do you think Jonathan's going to cry? Yes, Jonathan's going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> the whole ceremony was so dreamy and I give props up to Simone because she did mention that she did not want any plus one for her wedding because she wanted to be around familiar faces so energy was really lit this was not just like every other regular destination wedding this was a pure celebration of love the energy of love was in the air and the guests could feel it so during the ceremonies jonathan and simon were totally locked into each other according to simon she said they blocked out everyone else jonathan said his vow you know head on straight from the heart looking into her eyes and Simone giving those smiles and Simone said she fell in love with him all over again. So after the pronouncement, the new Mr. and Mrs. Owen recessed back up the aisle to the beat of the water drops. <laughs> According to Simone, it's given that this wedding and this union is sprinkled and blessed from heaven because she said whales were jumping out of the waters as the ceremony started. She said it wasn't even waste season by the way, but they were jumping out of the water. It also sprinkled for a little minute, like two minutes after they got married, which is a sign of good luck and they also had a full moon. Wow. Hold up again, hold up. After the official wedding ceremony, the newlyweds took some time for formal pictures, both alone and with their family, before heading into their first dance, followed of course by dinner and dessert. Y'all, you can see this location, you can see this venue. They left no stone or turned. It was beautiful, y'all. So, prior to the reception, the couple had a private alone time first dance, dancing to the music. I think that was beautiful, just, you know, soaking in the moment. Sometimes we can get caught up in the lighting, the crowd, the noise, the sharing, but I love that they decided to have that alone time with themselves.
Talking about dessert, she said their big made cake was made by Nobu and it was a red velvet cake. She said it was delicious and it was stunning. And uh, well, looking at the cake close up, it looked very beautiful. But looking at it from afar, it looked kind of mushy mushy if I'm being honest. Though the second wedding cake, which she said was technically the groom's cake, he requested it on the get go during the time of the wedding planning. It was an ice cream cake. It actually came from Dairy Queen and everyone raved about it. Personally, I love the groom's cake. It looked good and from what she said, it tasted good as well. But I mean, the cake is not what we are here for. But if we're gonna go into the details, let's just go into the details. They were just goofing around, showing off their blink blink, you know. <laughs> one thing I like about this couple, and one thing that stands out, you know, with them, just watching them from this wedding, it's how much they are friends. They are friends with each other, and then they love each other. And then the fireworks, oh my god. Oh my god, that is just amazeball. I love that when I saw that at Toya Johnson's wedding and I like it even now seeing it at Simon Bowles and Jonathan's wedding. That fireworks is a class act. Every time it sets the tune, it sets the mood and I think your guests love it as well. Look at her. And him also going down for that bend to the side keys. He did that several times, and I think it was beautiful. Whoop! I can tell the guest had a lot of fun, and it must have been or two days or three days of partying, joy, happiness, and just cheering on your friends Simone and Jonathan Owens. Yo, this was a beautiful wedding and I enjoyed myself there taking you with me. <laughs> you guys, if you 
you got to this point of the video, what are you waiting for? Come on, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you like this video because that is going to encourage me to bring more, okay? And maybe, just maybe, someone lets us in into her honeymoon and I can bring you in that too. What do y'all think? Would you like that? Okay, if you do, make sure to have your bell turned on because I might be dropping something if she lets us into that, okay? If they want us to see that, all right. This wedding was beautiful and it was worth every dime spent. So I'm wishing this couple a beautiful marriage, just like they had a beautiful wedding. And I pray that they have everything that they desire, their home to be, and their union to become. What are your thoughts, you guys? So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. But until the next one, remember to pray, work out, work smart, and slay! Bye-bye. <laughs>